now uh, we will uh, see about array multiplier array multiplier is an arrangement of full ladder circuits to simulate paper and pencil multiplication of binary numbers so essentially uh, we should first know what is a full ladder circuit so this is a symbolic representation of full ladder circuit it takes two inputs a and b along with a carry input that is c in and it will perform the operation a plus b plus c in okay so these three bits a b and c in will be added and you will get two outputs one is the sum and the other is carry out okay so uh, two input bits uh, input bits are essentially taken along with an input bit from a previous full ladder stage or from some other circuit and a single output bit is generated along with a single output carry bit okay and uh, this shows the full ladder circuit truth table okay and here a and b are your input bits c in is your carry input and c out is carry output and likewise so if you carefully observe full ladder circuit the addition is essentially an xor operation now we will see how uh, we can actually do a paper and pencil multiplication of numbers binary numbers so here the example taken here is 11 times 9 so uh, we know that 11 times 9 means adding 11 to itself 9 times right so that little meaning itself is actually done in the paper and pencil method so uh, see here uh, we have represented 11 and a0 indicates the lsb and a3 indicates the msb then we have represented 9 b0 indicates lsb and b3 indicates msb and these numbers in binary form are written here so as i told you we need to add 11 to itself right or these bit sequences of the multiplicand here our multiplicand is 11 and multiplier is 9 so the multiplicand's binary representation is added to itself at ap after appropriately shifting it to the left wherever the multiplier bits are one okay or the multiplier bits actually control when this multiplicand bits are to be added to itself so if you see the first stage in case of uh, the lsp multiplier if you see here it is one okay so it means that you can take multiplier one time so you are writing multiplier one time down okay and uh, in the for the next stage we need to actually shift this multiplicand one stage to the left and we have to add it with the previous stages result so whether that should be done or not is determined by the multiplier bit so if you see the multiplier bit here or if you see b1 right the second multiplier bit from the lsb side it is actually zero it means that you are not supposed to add the multiplicand to the previous stage so what you do is uh, you will just fill it with zeros and in order to reduce the clutter here what they have done is they have just they are just combining two stages together so immediately these two things are added okay. usually in the normal paper pencil method we will first write all the things down and then finally perform addition but here pairwise they are performing addition so after we go through the first the first two bits of the multiplier from the lsb side they are performing an addition and so this is the result of addition okay now uh, we need to know that we have gone one place to the left all right now we we have to go to the next place that's over here and we should we need to find out whether we should write the multiplicand here or we should fill it with zeros so if you see in this case again the multiplicand multiplier bit is zero so we need not take the multiplicand as, as such we need to fill it with zero then we will perform the addition we will get the result then we are going to the final bit position on the multiplier here it is one so what you will do is you will write out the multiplicand as it is right from here then you will perform the addition you will get the final result so what is the paper pencil method for multiplication in case of binary numbers uh, you just left shift multiplicand through each multiplier bit position right and uh, you choose to add the multiplicand or you add zero to the previous stage depending upon the multiplier bits so here it was one so you chose to add the multiplicand here it was zero so you chose to add zero here you performed addition and likewise 
so this is your paper pencil method for multiplication and the array multiplier is a hardware realization of this paper pencil multiplication okay so if you see here uh, what essentially we are doing is we are shifting the multiplicand and we are performing an addition so an adder circuit should be there and there should be some shifting or cascading of multiplicand in proper format okay so we are going to see how that can be realized so this is a sample multiplier circuit uh, that is that realizes 11 times 9 okay and the circuit has been taken from this link you can go to this link and uh, it is uh, shared in your course page and you can find out more about the circuit so i'll just explain how the circuit works based on paper pencil logic so if you see here as i told you we need to add multiplier to its various shifted forms wherever multiply uh, uh, sorry we need to add the multiplicand and its various shifted forms together wherever the multiplier bits allow the addition right or wherever the multiplier bits are one okay so we will just go through the multiplicand again this is our multiplicand 11 and these are its bit positions lsb is one and msb is one and this is your uh, multiplier it is nine and lsb is one and msb is one uh, and see the design of the circuit a0 a1 a2 a3 the multiplicand bits are written here right and they are cascaded perfectly for addition as required so if you see here a0 is starting from here a1 a2 a3 then we are again writing down multiplicand after shifting it one place to the left so that a0 can be added with a1 a1 can be added with a2 a2 can be added with a3 and a3 occupies the msb portion then again we are shifting the multiplicand one place to the left so uh, it makes us it gets us an arrangement where a0 can be added with a1 a1 with a2 a2 with a3 and a3 finally becomes msb here and finally the fourth stage okay so it means that if you have a four by four if you have a multiplication to be performed with uh, two four bit numbers what we will have is we will have a cascaded arrangement of four rows of your multiplicand okay or in short your uh, multiplier bits in, uh, decide how many such cascades should be there okay your multi multiplier bits right uh, that is the b0 b1 b2 b3 they actually are like the controlling knobs of this cascaded addition they determine whether addition has to take place or not so if you are adding uh, a number say 11 times 2 then you require only two bits for multiplier right so actually you will have only two stages okay or two cascaded additions here as our multiplier is 9 and it requires four bits we have four stages one two three four stages of cascaded addition okay so actually your multiplier bit uh, multiplier bits decide how much stages are to be cascaded and added so now uh, let us see how this works so if you see here um a0 a1 a2 a3 are written down then a0 a1 a2 a3 are shifted and written so that they are they can be perfectly added then uh, as i told you the first stage of addition is determined by b0 right b0 determines whether uh, the first multiplicand uh, the first multiplicand form can be uh, brought down and be added with the shifted multiplicand so uh, if b0 is 1 what happens if b0 is 1 what happens is uh, this and gate will be triggered on this and gate will be triggered on and like that for all these and gates so what happens is the a0 a1 a2 a3 bits will go through these gates and will reach the full ladder circuit over here okay so these uh, a bits will reach the full ladder circuits and uh, so what happens see here it is zero because a3 is only up to here uh, so what happens essentially what happens essentially is uh, the a0 a1 a2 a3 bits will uh, reach down uh, 
okay and will be made available for addition with the shifted multiplicand bits okay and again what about the shifted multiplicand bits uh, who decides whether they can be added in this full adder the b1 bit okay the b1 or the second bit of the multiplier decides whether they can be added so if uh, b1 see here if we here b1 is actually zero so what happens is uh, uh, all these things right all this here b1 is zero so b1 goes here so actually this gate will be turned off this gate will be turned off this one be turned off and this one two will be turned off so what happens essentially just see what are the outputs of full adder uh, the outputs of full adder is uh, this uh, a1 a2 the inputs to full, full adder is a1 a2 and a3 but uh, they can't be added with the shifted a0 a1 a2 or a3 because those have been turned off so actually a0 a1 a2 a3 from the first stage right from the first stage that is these things they will be actually passed as such to the third stage without any modification by the shifted stage of the multiplicand okay so like that the rest of the stages of addition happens and uh, the one thing to note here is uh, about the transfer of the carry bits across the full adder circuits so suppose that this a1 and a0 were getting added and they were going to generate a carry it will be passed to this full adder over here and uh, it and it will be added with a2 and a1 in the next addition and like that okay so it is just like your normal addition of binary numbers and see here the final carry he over here it will be given to the msb position to be added with the next shifted stage of the multiplicand okay so that's what you need to note so essentially the paper pencil method of uh, multiplication is uh, simulated here okay and uh, this is the array circuit given in your textbook okay the array circuit uh, that is shown in your textbook that is hamachar computer organization by hamachar okay this is the circuit given in your textbook uh, the same thing that we saw earlier is uh, shown in just some uh, different form and we will try to interpret it so here uh, the multiplicand bits are indicated using m0 m1 m2 m3 and uh, the multiplier bits are indicated using q0 q1 q2 q3 again it's a 4 by 4 multiplier okay and here uh, they have no they have just kept square boxes as the stages of your array multiplier uh, in order to reduce the complexity of the circuit and to give it the symmetry they have done that and the box is given here okay what each box corresponds to is given here so if you see here uh, each box is composed of a full ladder which takes two inputs for addition okay one is the partial product from the previous stage and the other is your uh, multiplicand bit okay so it is just like the earlier circuit we saw the uh, multiplicand bit of a particular uh, multiplicand bit of a particular stage is taken as one of the inputs of full adder which is enabled by the multiplier see q0 q1 q2 q3 serves as a multiplier bits and they are actually they are actually enabling this uh, multiplicand bits to reach the full adder and the other operand of full adder is the result from the previous stage okay so uh, we will just see how that happens so if you see here the for this first box okay if this if you see here this first box uh, and if you see the top right corner m0 is incident on the first box right so m0 is incident here and it go it is trying to go to the one the f one of the inputs of full adder and that is decided by q0 if q0 is one what happens is this and gate will get triggered and then this uh, m0 will go to this uh, full adder input then what about uh, the other full adder input see here uh, initially we don't have a previous stage so it means that the other full adder input is all set as zero see here all it uh, all the full adder input one of the inputs of full adder set as zero so essentially you have m0 m1 m2 m3 going to uh, the full adder inputs with zero as 
another input so the addition of all the, the, the addition the addition within each circuit or each box actually produces the individual bits of the multiplicand itself so here the output will be so here the output will be m0 right so m0 will be available over here see uh, you are actually performing addition and uh, m0 will be available over here and then what happens then what about this this circuit here when you perform addition m1 will be available over here okay m1 will be available over here and it has to be added with the shifted m0 see m0 is m0 is going like this see if you see here m0 is going like this and entering the top right corner of this first box you see the top right corner m0 is entering here and this uh, line actually takes m0 down right m0 down to the bottom left corner so in bottom left corner we will have m0 it goes diagonally okay so bottom left corner you have m0 and it ended here so m0 will be essentially your one of the inputs and here uh, m1 will be one of the inputs for the full adder and again the q1 decides whether this should be added and addition happens and uh, the result will be your what uh, the second bit okay after msb second bit after lsb okay to the left that will be the result of the addition over here and uh, if you see here uh, just as we saw in the earlier case carry any is given to the uh, just left circuit or the just left uh, the or the division just left to the current cell okay so if a carry is generated here then uh, the carry is immediately passed to the corresponding left stage or the left box okay so addition happens so if you see here m0 m1 m2 x uh, m3 are written here m0 from the first stage is passed directly to the um, outputs lsb then uh, m1 and m0 are added together if your q1 permits that and then it appears as and the result appears as the a bit just near to the lsb or if the quotient is with the product is uh, p0 p1 p2 etc then uh, p0 is directly the m0 right and uh, your p1 is the result of m0 and m1 if q1 happens to be one okay, like that uh, like that addition happens over here so this is how uh, rm multiplier works